Today's Five Things You Need to Know is brought to you by Power Credit Union, proudly serving Southern Colorado. Hi there, I'm Allison Zimmerman with this News 5 update. Our state's positivity rate for COVID-19 now down to 5.89% and Colorado is not reporting any deaths due directly to COVID-19 in the last day. More than 3,000 new cases have been confirmed in our state since Wednesday and 151 people were admitted into Colorado hospitals. Data from the state shows 60 employees at the new in and out in Colorado Springs have tested positive for COVID-19 in just under three weeks. The state website says the in and out has had an outbreak of coronavirus cases since December 6. Now this is just one of two in and out locations to open in Colorado within the last month. The other location in Aurora also has a reported outbreak of 20 positive and 60 probable cases. And a warning for seniors today. Government officials say Medicare covers the vaccine, so there should be no cost. If anyone asks you to share your Medicare number or pay for access to a vaccine, it's likely a scam. You cannot pay to get early access or be put on a waiting list and never share your personal or financial information if someone calls, texts, or emails you promising a free vaccine. Democrats will vote Monday on a standalone bill that would provide $2,000 direct payments to most Americans. President Trump says he will veto the COVID relief bill if direct payments are not increased from $600. The bill also includes an extension of government funding. If the president doesn't sign the bill, there could be a partial government shutdown. Alan? Allison will see quiet conditions overnight and into the day on Christmas. You can see Christmas Eve overnight lows down to the teens and 20s in most areas. Your highs on Christmas Day, although it starts cold, nice and mild by the afternoon. Temperatures in the plains and the interstate looking at 50s and low 60s. Thank you for listening to today's five things you need to know. Sponsored by Power Credit Union.